spur of the moment, shot on cell phone video, got a pile of scrap wood there. I just wanted to play in the shop this afternoon. I got a very specific, weird little project that I want to do. I have a couple of laptops at work and I need a place to just stash them out of the way so they're still handy and not taking up a lot of room. So I thought I'd just see what I could come up with. I don't think I'm going to use the pine. I found this piece of wood in the, in the, in the basement and I think it's oak. I've got this chunk of cherry that's left over from a previous project with a couple of massive holes in it. So this, this was scrap wood and I got, again, this end grain walnut. And my plan is to do something like this. I'll cut this into two shelves. I'll put a dado there for one shelf and then another shelf above it so that you can stack one, two laptops and maybe even a third. First, let's take this and square it up into something a good size. Next we're going to take this and plane it down. It's way too thick and rough right now. Then I put in my dado blade and I tested it until it nicely fit the shelf that I want to put in there. And we will cut a few dados in our backer board. I also want to notch where it fits over the bottom. So I'm going to use the dado blade for that also. Just going to cut out right there. But I did set the dado blade a bit shallower because that's pretty deep. It's good for the shelf, but I don't need that for the notch. I set up my cross cut sled to take a cut at 8 inches, and yes, my stop lock is walnut. So when I looked in the dado, I saw the remains of a dowel, so these two boards had been connected by a dowel previously. But anyways, the back has been cut to size. That will fit onto the back of my base like this. Let's just clamp it temporarily. And then my one shelf will fit there. And the other shelf will fit like that. I know, it's a weird looking thing. So now I'm going to do some roundovers. I only want to round over the sides and the front, so I'm putting some tape on the back so I know to leave this with square. Okay, I'm making this up as I go along and which means I'm changing my mind as I go along. This was a scrap end of a shelf from something else and I used it for a previous video where I was testing some holes and at first I was just going to ignore these or maybe put some dowels in them but I only have maple dowels and I'm like, you know what? I'm starting to have more fun with this project, so I want it to look a little bit nicer. So, and I went over to my scrap pile and I found some more thin pieces of cherry. And I am going to, I'm going to clean up these edges. And then I'm going to glue that into place over top of it. So that does mean I have to slow down. I can't just whip through this in 10 minutes. So, but I think it'll be look better. So anyways, regardless, this is up to me. I'm having fun in the shop. I'm doing whatever I want, so. The edges are a bit beat up, so I'm going to trim off like an eighth of an inch of the table saw. Got a nice glue squeeze out. 
all around so let's just leave this for 45 minutes and then we can continue and while the glue is drying i might as well go ahead and use the router on the other pieces and get them rounded over and then i'll spend some time sanding them and now let's clean up a little bit of the glue i'll take these over to the bandsaw to trim them off this part is not quite in alignment, so let's just take that down quickly. Oh, that. And then I'll take the rest of this off here on the table saw. That's almost perfectly in line, but I can just finesse it a bit with the block plane. Sure is nice having those holes covered up, and this seam should blend in eventually. And now we'll get this routed. So I've got the block positioned in my vise, and I have the edges marked, and another block here for propping it up so I can fasten this right in the center. Put some glue in there. And drill some countersink holes. And for the next two shelves, I've also marked the center. Let's just Get some glue in the dado. And we will work in the board. This one is nice and snug. Might as well do the other one at the same time. And I'll put on a clamp to try to hold it in place while I drill. And repeat that with the upper location. I, I know, screwing into end grain isn't really ideal, but this is a small project. It'll be fine. And here is my weird little construction. Oak, oak, cherry, walnut. And it's just screwed together. This is going to go to the back. I need to get some lacquer on it, I think, tomorrow. That's pretty much what I was imagining. It kind of, kind of cool. I, I, I thought it would look kind of neat. Uh, unfortunately, I'm at home. The laptops are at work. I'm going to go see if I can borrow some of the kids' laptops and just see what it looks like. So here I grabbed a couple of laptops. That is exactly what I had in mind. Still got to get some finish on it. Gonna hit it with some spray lacquer, so I took it out to the garage for ventilation. And actually, I got another little project that I'm gonna just I need to recoat with some lacquer. So I'm gonna spray that at the same time. And after lacquer, just a little burnishing with some paper takes it and just gives you a nice smooth surface. I gotta be honest, the end grain looks a little bit dull. I think it really soaked up the finish. The face grain. On all of these looks great. I might still take it out to the shop. Out to the shop. I might still take it out to the garage and hit this with a few more coats of lacquer to see if that'll give it a bit more of a shine to it. But really, it does look pretty good just like that. And reporting from the future, I did end up taking it out and shooting some more lacquer on it. And I think this end grain looks a little bit better. And one more step is to add some rubber feet to the bottom. It's not really necessary, but I have them, so... The adhesive on these just isn't that great, so I add a little screw in the middle. Now they're not going anywhere. The screw is recessed in there so it doesn't touch. So here we are after a couple hours in the shop. My weird little project is complete and ready to be used. So this is going to sit on the edge of my desk at work. I have a couple of laptops that are there ready to be grabbed and used when needed. And I can hold up to three. So it's a few days later and I brought it into the office. And this is what I have been planning. Tuck the one here and the other one can go there. And there's still room for another laptop or an iPad or something. It takes up less space, looks nicer. 
There's room here on the side for power cords or anything else that needs to be plugged in. So I can just grab a laptop and go, or one of my colleagues can grab a laptop and go. And with that, shot playtime is over. Hope you had some fun. See you next time.